Hello everybody and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 5 tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how to add to viewport a video that will play um, like a picture in picture so it'll be used for things like tutorials or you could have it as a, um, an overlay for instructions like a video um, in your games, in your horror games, in your RPG games, anything you like, RTS games. So without further ado, let's jump into how to set that up. So the first thing we're going to do is import a video. Now, the one thing that you do need to do, so we're going to quickly import this video in. This is on my desktop, which is this one. So make sure it's an MP4. Um, and the video, if you're going to export your, sorry, if you're going to package your game, the video needs to be where Unreal Engine is installed in a folder named Movies. So for some strange reason, when you import a video into Unreal, <coughs> it doesn't import the full video. It imports kind of like a path. Um, and the only way that you can package this video into your game is if it's actually in the movies folder where Unreal Engine 5 is installed. So that's something to bear in mind when importing videos into your engine. Um, so the next step we're going to do is right click, go to media, and then add a media player. We're going to click on video output media texture asset, which is this one, and then click OK. So then when we left click again, it'll add a texture that we can then use and utilize. In our media player, we're going to double click that, and we're going to select the video that we imported. So it should come up in this list. I'm going to double click on my Unreal Engine one, click save, video to show you how and then close because I've done. <coughs> so you could hear some audio playing on that. We can set it up two ways. We can have it with audio or without audio, and I'll show you both. So the next thing we're going to do, where we had our texture that was created, which was this one, we're going to right click and then create material. We're going to, I'm going to name this tutorial video texture just so I know what it is you can name yours whatever you like we're going to double click on our texture and open that up and you're going to see something similar to this um, and I'm going to highlight our texture video sorry our video texture and then we're going to go to surface and then we're going to change that to user interface we're going to reconnect our RGB into final color and we're also going to select opaque there and then highlight like translucent so we can have this slightly more translucent or more opaque depending on what our needs might be just so it gives us the option we're going to apply and save and then close that because we've done everything in there that we need to do um, this if for any reason <coughs> your texture turns white just open up your media player and then double click on your video again, just like I just did, and then click save. For some strange reason, it changes it back to um, like a white default texture. Um, so the next thing I'm gonna do is create a widget. So we're gonna go and right click, user interface, widget blueprint, and then user widget. I'm gonna name this tutorial, um, do, 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 tutorial uh, widget BP, and then video so I know what it does and then I'm going to double click this and open <clears throat> in here we're going to add a canvas and then we're going to drag and drop that here and then on our canvas panel we want to add an image so we'll search for image in the palette and then we're going to drag our image on top of our canvas panel so the canvas panel is going to represent your monitor, your screen. So wherever this image is on the canvas panel is where it's going to appear in game on your screen. So if you think this is your monitor, this dotted outline. So this will be the top left of your screen where it appears. This would be the top right of the screen. So let's place it in the position that we want. And then we need to anchor this. If we don't anchor it, then the center position here will be wherever the anchor is. So then it will end up cutting out you know a good 80% of your image there so we're going to anchor that by dragging the anchor this one into the center you can use the transform dots at the side like this 
to position your anchor just so you get it in the center. Then we're going to compile and save. The next thing we're going to do is click on image. You can do that here or by just clicking on the white box. We're going to scroll down where it says visibility. <coughs> I'm going to set that to hidden. And then we're going to scroll back up and this is where we're going to set our texture. So control space bar and then we're going to get the texture that we created, which was this one. And then we're going to highlight it and then click here so we get our tutorial video texture and then compile and save. The next step we're going to do is we're going to go into our graph of our widget blueprint. So we're going to get rid of event pre-construct, get rid of event tick. So event construct is when the when the widget is created, when it's constructed, when it's added to scene, this code will fire. So whatever's at the end of this code, like remove from parent, it will remove it from the screen for the player to see. So we're gonna add a new variable. We're gonna click on the plus button. We're gonna name this one media player. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we're gonna click on where it says Boolean. I'm gonna type in media player. And we want media player, object type, media player, object reference. So object types, media player, object reference. Once we have that, we can drag that in and then click get. Another way to do that is left click, hold left control, and then drag it in with left control held down. You'll automatically get that uh, variable. So. We're going to, out of this media player, we're going to get an open source. So, which is this one here. And then out of the output of event construct, we'll go into the input of open source. We're going to tidy this up a little bit. Our media source will be the video that we want to play. So whatever videos you have into the game, we're going to click on that to add it as the media source. <coughs> And then out of the media source, we're gonna get a delay. So left click, uh, hold D for delta or D for delay, and then left click and you get a delay. You can right click and then type delay if you if you want. So you're gonna get the same one there. Um, we're gonna set that to 0 0.3. And then we are going to grab our image, drag that in and get out of image we're going to set visibility so set visibility and we're going to leave that as visible so now that we want it to be visible so on creation of the blueprint widget we're going to play this media file and then it's going to set the visibility of the image which would be this uh, to visible because we don't want it on the screen all the time and then we want to know roughly how long the video is I think mine's seven seconds uh, so in our graph we can control spacebar go to media player double click on my video this is just uh, a short so video I know that it's three four five so we know it's seven work. seconds so we know that that video is seven seconds so we can close our media player compile this and then we're gonna get a delay. So hold D, sorry, yeah, hold D and then left click. I'm gonna set this to 7.1. And then out of our delay, we want a remove from parent because we don't want it to exist anymore on the screen. And we can leave that to self because we're, we're doing that within the widget itself. So it knows that it's gonna remove itself from the screen. Compile, save, it should look like this. I'll give you a second to have a look to make sure it matches. Event construct, um, media player variable. We get that open source out of our media player. We select the video that we want it to play. A small delay sets image, which is this, <coughs> to visible after 7.1 seconds, so slightly longer than the video itself, which was seven seconds, we're then gonna remove it from the screen. Compile, save, and then 
close. Okay, so the next step, we want to add this to the screen. So we go to our level blueprint and we minimize that for now. I'm going to add a, we're gonna add in a trigger box. So all classes trigger and then get a box. And just for reference sake, so I know where this trigger box is, I'm gonna add a cube and I'm gonna minimize that a little bit, make it a bit smaller. So this is gonna be where the player has to walk to trigger. You can have this set up to a switch, um, anything you like. <coughs> this can be good for first person shooters, RTS games, RPGs. If you, if you think of a scenario you've got like a firing range or you know anything really a firing range and you've got like a gun and maybe you want it to show you want to show the player how to um change a magazine add ammo pick up a grenade and throw it you know this is good for just having like a picture in picture event so you can see a player's got some visual to watch to show them how to do something so we have our trigger in the scene with our trigger highlighted, we're going to go back into our level blueprint. So to do that, it's just here in blueprints and then we go to level blueprint, open up, and then we're going to right click with our trigger still selected. And we're going to go to add event for trigger box, collision, add on actor beginner overlap. We're going to drag out of other actor and get cast to first person character. Um, it would be cast to third person character if you're doing a third person game <clears throat> and then we want to right click and then promote to variable because we want to call this uh, later on and then out of our set here we're going to get a create widget <clears throat> And then control space bar, we're gonna get the widget that we created. So we're gonna left click on our widget and then left click here on class. And then out of our widget, we're gonna to add to viewport. So this is gonna add it to the screen. So the viewport is the, it's the invisible screen between the human player, so you, the monitor, and the in-game player. So everything between that, which is the user's interface. So that's kind of like your viewport. So that's everything that is uh, between the actual player and then the scene in front of the player. So we're going to add that to the viewport. And let's quickly tidy this up. So this is going to play the video. In theory, it should work. Sometimes it doesn't quite go the way I want it to, but so if we go into our game and we go over this box, we can see that it flashes up white. So this is, for some strange reason, it defaults itself. So if we go back into our media player and we double click and we save and we close and then we go back into our game and what have I not set let's have a look so go into our widget blueprint media player there we go media player what will be which one is it Med new media player one let's change the name to this to tutorial yeah and then we can compile, scroll down, and get that one. Compile and save. So if we go into our media player, double click, save, this is close, and then that should work. There we go. So we can see where it is in the top left of the screen. And then after 7.1 seconds, it removes it. So if in case you didn't know what I did there, I forgot to, in my blueprint widget, 
So in the blueprint widget, when we created our media player variable, um, I forgot one step of scrolling down and selecting the media player that we want to play the video that we've selected here in media source. So it's media player and then you select the media player of your choice, um, which is the one that you want to open. So we're going to go back into designer. I'm going to go into anchors. I'm going to move that slightly over and then select that there. So we want this to be top left corner, but centralized there, compile. And then if we go in to the game and try once more, notice that it plays the top left side of the screen, that video that I had. <clears throat> so how do we add sound to this? So this video is getting quite long already, so I apologize for the length of the video, but to add sound, it's quite quick and easy. We're gonna go to our first person character to our blueprint, we're gonna open up the first person character blueprint, we're gonna click on plus, we're gonna get a media sound. That's all we need to do in here. So we get our media sound and then we're gonna select the media player that we want the media sound from, which will be the one I just created, the tutorial media. We're gonna compile that, we're gonna save it, we're gonna close and then in our level blueprint, we want to get a reference to our um, player, which was this one. And then we're going to, out of this, we're gonna get media sound. Set media player, media sound. And then we're gonna drag that in there and in there. And then we're gonna select our tutorial media so then when we go in game and we play this is just a short video to show you how it can work there you have my nice depressed voice um talking over in the background so there you have a video playing like a picture in picture effect so you can alter this however you like if you remember the original command and conquer games you had uh, the russians and they would pop up and he would talk about you know i don't know going to the moon or whatever yuri or you'd have like that picture in picture event that's how you can replicate that on unreal engine 5 um if you've got any more questions on this let me know in the comments i'll be happy to try and help you as much as i can um i'll give you a quick demonstration once more just how that works. So we've got in our character blueprint, we have just that media sound. So then in our level blueprint, because we've created a reference to our first person character here, we can call that um, variable or that component that we added. So that creates the audio. If you don't want the audio, you just remove that bit. So get rid of that and then drag straight out of there into create widget at the viewport um so that'll be it for this video if you've got like i said if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments i hope this helped if you found this video useful or helpful in any way please hit that like button it helps on the youtube algorithms um and you know if you haven't already subscribed please consider doing so to help the channel grow um but yeah thanks very much for watching take care and i'll see you again in the next one bye bye for now